Hello there guys and welcome back to the FIFA 21 career mode with Barcelona and today guys we've got episode 23 of the career mode which is the end of season 2 and coming up in today's episode we've got a Champions League final, we're going to be taking on Lazio. So here is then guys how the semi-finals did end, we played two legs against Liverpool in the last episode, 8 goals involved in them two games and also 6 goals involved in the two legs against Lazio and Dortmund. In the last episode then guys, we did go ahead and actually pick up the La Liga title for the second time in this career mode. You guys can see we are currently on 101 points. We've still got one game left that we are going to simulate before we get in to the Champions League game against Lazio. So then, as you guys can see on screen as well, Messi is actually going to retire at the end of this season. Luckily for us, we've had him for two seasons so far in this career mode, picking up the La Liga twice and plenty of other trophies along the way. And like I said, Messi's still 93 rated, but he wants to retire while he's at the top. So then guys, coming up in today's episode with the final episode of Season 2. What a journey guys, what a journey. We're going to conclude Season 2 in today's episode with this final against Lazio. Now some of you guys might be thinking Lazio, not the hardest team to face in the final. But you know, they've made it all the way to the final as you guys see. And they ended up knocking Dortmund out in the semi-final. So again, let's not take them lightly. Let's make sure we go into that game with our heads fully concentrated on getting a win and picking up the Champions League for the second time as well. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode and are happy with how Season 2 has gone, please leave a like down below on the video, guys. If we can hit over 200 likes once again, that would be absolutely amazing. And also, guys, if you are new around here and you want to see more FIFA 21 career mode videos, hit the red subscribe button down below. But here we go then guys, let's get into some of your guys' comments from the previous episode. And don't forget guys, we're going to get your comments featured in these episodes. Leave them down below in the comment section. But into the first one then, which does say, Hey Renzi, for the season finale, don't crop the final Champions League game, including the intros. Let it be more of a live stream. And now, like I said, you guys have already seen, I've cropped a little bit of today's episode so far. But I definitely think in this game, I won't just play the full 90 and leave the full 90 in. But I, there will be more of the game included in the episode, if you guys sort of understand what I mean. So again, instead of it being, you know, 8 or 9 clips of the game, I'll probably include maybe 15 clips of the Champions League game we play against Lazio. So again, I'll still clip it because I want to clip out the boring parts, but there'll be more parts to watch in the game, if you guys understand. But here we go then, let's get to the next comment for today's episode, and it does say, It's so sad to see Messi leave, I'm not looking forward to this day in real life. And of course guys, as you've seen, as we've already mentioned in today's episode, Messi is retiring at the end of the season. Of course, season 3 is going to be a post-Messi era, so Messi's going to leave, Griezmann and all these older players are going to leave the club. And again, we're going to go and see if the youth players can do it. But again, I I'm not looking forward to it in real life either, to be fair. Messi or Ronaldo retiring, as much as people compare the two, the one, you know, when the day comes that them two are no longer in the game, it will be a sad day. But let's get into the final comment then for today's episode, which does say, in the next season, are you going to retire the Messi kit, the number 10? And this is an interesting comment, actually. I want to see what you guys think down below in the comment section. Should we go ahead and retire the number 10? And if we don't retire it and we want to keep it going in the next season, who should we give it to? Again, I think it's actually a decent idea to retire the number 10. Um, just because obviously Messi been such a great of Barcelona and especially in this career mode alone. Last episode scoring four goals against Liverpool to get us through into the final today. God knows, will he score in the final against Lazio? You know, I, I put my money on it, put it that way. But I want to see what you guys think. Should we retire this number 10 kit going into the next season? So then guys, I'm just taking a look then at the team which we are going to be left with at the start of Season 3. Now of course, if you just take a quick look at the team, the Stegen is still there. But of course, Pena is out on loan at the moment, so I can't actually put him into the team. So imagine the Stegen isn't there. And also, if you take a look down at the bench, Langley won't be there. Neto won't be there either. And this is the sort of team that we're going to be left with at the start of Season 3. Now again, we don't actually have a natural striker at the club. Do we go ahead and maybe get Trincao or Ansu Fati on a striker development plan, which I think might not be a bad idea. We could go with maybe Ansu Fati at striker, Almeida on the left, and then maybe Trincao on the right. What would you guys think of that? Because Ansu Fati right now gets a minus seven at striker. So at the moment, we don't actually have a natural striker at the club. And obviously, we've got Messias returning next season. But if you guys would like some signings that would go into this team at the start of season three... You guys let me know down below in the comments. So here we go then guys, let's get into the season objectives for one of the last times in this second season with Barcelona. So I've updated it quite a bit here guys, so you'll be able to see fully loaded. We've actually now completed that, get 10 goal contributions with fullbacks, which is now 12 out of 10. And if you guys remember to last episode, Junior Firpo really helped out with that objective, scoring in plenty of the sim games. So we got 12 out of 10 for that. And then for the bottom two, Little Magician and Nick's Funnest Legend, I've gone ahead and just, you know, put an X for them. Because there's no way 
We're scoring seven goals from outside the box in one game with Messi. And also next Spanish legend, there's no way we're getting eight assists to Pedri in a single game against Lazio. If we do, I'll go ahead and object, uh, um, update it. But I highly doubt we will. But we will update it at the end of today's episode if we do go ahead and manage to retain the Champions League title. So anyway, guys, just before we do end off and go into this game against Lazio, if you guys have any ideas on the season objectives for next season, let me know down below in the comment section. But here we go then, guys. Let's get into this game, the La Liga game, which we do need to simulate. Like I say, Espanyol, 15th place right now. Okay, the kits clash, but again, we're not playing in this game, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to take De Jong out of the team. Let's play Busquets, and let's also play... Um, who else should we play? Alanya. Let's just let them two play. I don't want any first-team players really playing in this game. Uh, De Stegen can play. Got no problem with that. Martinez can, can play. Trincao, no. Let's get De La Fuente on there. There we go. Let's go ahead. Let's quick sim this game now. Hopefully no subs have to be made. No injuries. Araujo uh, play uh, scoring. Almeida scoring. Sergio Busquets scoring. And Pedri scoring as well. And we get a 4-1 win to finish off La Liga. But there we have it then, guys. This is how the La Liga season does end at the end of this second season. We end the season unbeaten. 33 wins, 5 draws, 0 losses, guys. At 104 points. And we do have some emails here. And Griezmann has been sold to Juventus. We got 89.5 million for that transfer. We got a transfer off of Diego Carlos. Talks for Jordi Alba and Leipzig breakdown. Okay, okay. Dortmund coming in for Diego Carlos now. 33.9. Let's just go ahead and accept that, guys. And again, we're trying to sell these players. Uh, an offer came in for PK as well from uh, Fiorentina. I've accepted that. But we're trying to sell these players, of course, getting ready for season three. So here you guys can see then that we do actually have a player chat for Messi. Now, as we guys know, he is going to retire at the end of the season. So he says here, boss, great result. Great we're through in the cup. I hope you still got me in mind. It'd be a fantastic way to finish my career if I could help the club win a trophy this season. Now, of course, he's already helped us win. The La Liga and every trophy we've won this season, but winning the Champions League for the second time running, he is definitely going to help us and you've set the standard for the club, definitely. But here we go then guys, it all comes down to this in today's episode, the Champions League final between us and Lazio. Now funny enough, one thing I did figure out in the last episode is us and Lazio was actually in the same group together at the start of the season. I didn't even know, well I did know that, but I sort of forgot. Uh, we can see here, we were both in the same group. We finished on 16 points. Lazio finished on 10. Into the round of 16 where we beat Spurs 2-1. And Lazio ended up beating, who was it? Okay, Borussia Much and Gladbach 3-2. Then we went into the quarterfinals. Lazio beat Chelsea. We beat Juventus. And into the semi-finals, as you guys know, we beat Liverpool. And Lazio beat Dortmund. And we meet together once again in the Champions League final. So here is then how the two teams are going to line up for this Champions League final. In fact, we actually might make a change to our side. Because I want Griezmann playing in this game. As you guys know, he's been sold to Juventus. And obviously, our Ballon d'Or winner this, uh, this second season with Barcelona. So again, I want him playing in this game. Martinez will go down to the bench. Ansu Fati, Almeida, Alenia. Okay, that bench doesn't look too bad. Anyone else to put on there? No, I, th I think I think I think this is pretty good. I think this is pretty good. Start eleven to go with the bench looks pretty good as well. Of course, I'd prefer maybe to have a fullback on there as well. And in fact, I might take Alenia off and put uh, Tavares on there. Yeah, I might put Tavares on there just in case. You never know. You never know what could happen. But there we go. This is how the two teams are gonna line up. We're gonna be in our home kit. Lazio are going to be in their away kit by the looks of it. And yeah, let's get into this now. Champions League final. Here it is then, guys. We're into this final now against Lazio. And what a game. What a game for today's episode. Only one game where we are going to play. And it's going to be this massive one against Lazio at the Johan Cruyff Arena as well. Which is really nice to see. And if you guys haven't um, remembered already, we have got new kits ready for Season 3. And that is a trophy you want to be lifting at the end of this game. We're going to do everything we can to lift that trophy. We've got new kits for Season 3 ready. We're selling players and getting the players ready for Season 3. And also, guys, I want you to let me know down below any season objectives for next season. Obviously, bear in mind, players like De Stegen, Messi, Neymar, Griezmann, all these sort of players will not be here next season. It's going to be the Barcelona youth. So just remember to set objectives around them sort of players. Like Trincao, who is now 92 rated, guys. Our highest rated player next season. So again, unreal. Ricky Pirage, 88 rated. But here we are. Lining up, ready for this Champions League final. And I can't wait, guys. And funny enough, right, uh, you guys are watching this the day after the Champions League final in real life. I'm recording this at, um, what time is it right now? And the time is, uh, well, time's half three for me. So, again, Man City and Chelsea still haven't played yet in real life. So, I don't actually know the outcome of that. Where you guys watching this know the outcome of that game. 
And I'm playing this on the same day that uh, they're playing the Champions League final in real life. But this time it's between Barcelona and Lazio. And again, you know, the two teams, Lazio, it annoys me a little bit because Lazio don't really get the, the respect they deserve. You know, you're looking at this final and go Barcelona on paper, easy winners, easy, easy winners. But you never know, Lazio could come here today and surprise a few of us and get the win in this final. You never know. But uh, but here we go. Let's get into it. Here we go then. Working it forward now. Ricky Pirage. Let's try and get Messi involved straight away here. Messi on the ball. Gets taken out. Okay, Griezmann. We can see Frankie Young. Frankie Young. Great. Messi. Go on. Go on. Oh, as if. That's a great save. That's a great save. Four minutes in. We can almost make it 1-0. Messi getting taken down. Getting back up. Making a great run. Lays it off to him. And then a shot there on his left foot as well. But that's an easy save. But it looks a bit for the goalkeeper. We get ourselves a corner here. Let's get this one whipped in with Messi. We still yet to score from a corner. Diego Carlos goes up. Gakpo heads it away. Another corner here. Let's go a little bit further back this time. Come on, Griezmann maybe. He's headed away. Does fall to Messi. He's going to go and shoot this time maybe. Go on. Oh, the tackle in the end. Messi getting taken out in this game quite a lot already. I can see Frank de Jong lays it off. Griezmann with the shot. And he's off the post. He's off the post early on in this game. Frank de Jong can see space out on the left here. Firpo, okay. Neymar, never mind. Neymar. Griezmann just couldn't lay the pass off there in the end. Maybe Lazio's turn now to attack. And I really hope Neymar gets involved in this game. But if anything, I want every player to make a major role in this game. Because again, it's going to be the last game with some of these players. Neymar, last game with him. And obviously we signed him at the start of this season. I do really wish that I signed him earlier on, guys. You know, maybe season one. And just got to use him a little bit more. Um, but it is it is what it is, and it is what it is. But here we go, Lazio now. Can he create anything now? Gakpo, who did clear a header, uh, clear a corner earlier on in the game. Okay, just taking his time now on the wing. Frank de Jong unable to get a tackle in. Lucas Leiva now on the ball. Immobile, okay, inside. Clear that one. Langley, uh, Diego Carlos, sorry, my mistake. Messi now, out wide, Trincao. Maybe back inside for Messi. Maybe late. Griezmann off here. Griezmann, okay, never mind. Out wide once again. Dest this time. He's going to knock it forward. Going to look for me a cross inside in towards Griezmann. The header. And he's in. There we go. 1 0 in this game, guys. Off the bar and in. And Griezmann makes it 1 0 against Lazio. That's a great cross in from Serginio Dest. And we're 1 0 up now in this Champions League final. And Griezmann, like I say, guys, it was Martinez actually in the lineup. But I thought, you know what? Griezmann has to play. As you guys seen, I think he scored what? 22 goals or 23 goals in all competitions and 20 assists. And he's come into this game and made it 1-0. Goal, uh, goal decision system used once again in back-to-back -back episodes. And there we go, Griezmann makes it 1-0. Diego Carlos plays it forward. Frank de Jong, maybe Firpo, and then down to Neymar. I think we'll go with here. Okay, and able to get it to Neymar. Firpo can pick it back up. Let's go now. Ricky Pirage in the middle. Messi, um, okay, Messi or Neymar. Let's go Neymar, try and get this back down. Here we go, now to Messi maybe. Quite a bit, oh, okay, yeah. Again, a bit of a risky pass there, playing it. So, uh, Milinkovic, uh, Milinkovic Savic now in the midfield. Immobile, Diego Carlos getting the better of him. Ricky Pirage once again here. Now, found Griezmann, lays it off. Trincao's going to be offside. Trincao's going to be offside, maybe to Messi. Finish that, and he's in. And it's 2-0 in this game now, guys. I honestly thought we was offside in that. But Messi scores in the Champions League final, guys. In what is going to be his final game in his career. And he does score to make it 2-0 now before half time. And I thought this pass here, I thought he was offside. And that's why I was a little bit like, is he offside, is he not? But gets it to Messi, who slots it past the goalkeeper and makes it 2-0 now in this game, guys. How many goals this season in the Champions League? Eight goals in the Champions League. Lucas Leiva wins the header. Carrera now on the ball. I can see a run being made. Let's just watch this. Desk now. No way. He's balling. And that's a great stop there from De Stegen. And let's get this one cleared straight away here, guys. Okay. Unable to get it cleared. Kondogbia. And Malinkovic Savic on the ball in the second half now, guys. We're 2-0 up. But again, still plenty of time to get two goals for Lazio. And let's just defend this. Let's just defend this. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. Carlos. And the shot is there. Clear it. Kondogbia trying to go for a shot as well, guys. But it's going to be offside in the end for them. So Lazio are going to make a change then in this game. They've also got themselves a corner now. Kondogbia going off. Interesting to see. Um, he's probably been their best player so far, getting them forward. But okay, they're going to make the change. Cross is in. And Diego Carlos just been able to head that one away. And luckily for us. But 60 minutes gone so far in this game. Gakpo, you know, creating a few chances for them down this right-hand side. But nothing really coming off them. Now you can see again. I'm guessing he's looking for it. Okay, I thought he was going to pass it inside. Now the player that's come on for Kondogbia on the ball. And this is what I hate, guys. When the AI is just in the corner, not doing anything with the ball. I really do hate this. 
Because, yeah, look, look, nothing, <laughs> nothing come of that. Just going to lose the ball. Here we go. Frankie de Jong, forward. We've got Trincao now. Um, Messi's making a run. Oh, Messi just unable to get through. All right, here we go then. Lazio now on the move. Here we go, Immobile. No way. And to Stegen, another great stop in this game, guys. To Stegen. He's made some amazing saves so far in this game. A change, Tavares. Ta Ricky Pooch playing at left back. Let, let me have a look at this. Let me have a look. And yeah, there's the save once again. Before we go into this... Okay, so now because I've got an ultra attack, for some reason the left back has changed with midfield and Neymar and the whole team's changed around, in fact. Uh, I just went ultra attack just because I thought, why not? We're in the lead, 2 0 ahead. Let's try and score some more goals. And let's see how we're definitely getting into the game now. And they got themselves a corner here. Now it's whipped in to Stegen. Going to punch it away. Neymar plays it forward to Griezmann now. Just waiting for the other players to catch up right now. Griezmann slots it through. Messi takes the touch. Rolls it back inside. That's great for Messi. Oh, just unable to get the shot off, guys. Okay, okay. A little bit of a pinball machine in the middle right now. Ricky Puig. Oh, unable to get back onto the ball there. But yeah, I don't think anyone knew what was going on right there. Frank de Jong on the ball now. Plays it forward. Neymar. Maybe lay it off to Messi. Who, okay, ends up back with Neymar. Going to ball roll it. Going to finish it. Surely. And okay, again, their goalkeeper making another save in this game. And you've got to give their goalkeeper a monitor match so far, I've got to say. Because even though they're 2-0 down, it sounds daft, but their goalkeeper has stopped it from being 5-6-0 so far in this game. Another corner for us, whipped in. Can we get a header now? Lengley with the header, but it's goes straight to the goalkeeper. Well, right, here we go then. Lazio now pushing forward. Gakpo on the ball, plays the ball over the top. Come on, let's not concede. Let's keep the clean sheet right now. Stegen's had a great game. Carrera, can we put a stop to this attack right now? Come on, come on. Okay, Firpo can't get to it. The pass inside. Frankie de Jong, come on. What? What? Okay. Okay, never mind. We can't seem to stop this attack. And there we go. Diego Carlos puts a stop to it. But Lazio is still on the ball right now. McNeil. And is that Dwight McNeil? I, if it is, I'm very surprised. And the ball of the top lane, they clear it. Thank God. Frankie de Jong. Here we go. The pass forward now. Messi up towards Trincao. Can we get some runners right now? Can we get some runners? Neymar. Okay. Back inside, maybe. Okay. There we what? <laughs> what happened there? What is going on? Two minutes added on, guys. We are going to be crowned Champions League winners unless something out of this world happens. Lazio over the top now. Lucas Lever into the middle. Malinkovic Savage, and it's in. And it's in. In this final. I doubt there's enough time for them to get another goal to equalise. But, wow. Okay. Malinkovic Savage, an angle I didn't think was possible to score. He does score. Lucas Lever heads it in. Malinkovic Savic, the touch and the finish. It's a great finish. It absolutely is a great finish there. And is there enough time right now? Is the referee going to blow it as soon as they kick the ball for kickoff? Or as soon as we kick the ball for kickoff? I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's have a see. Let's have a see. Come on, guys. We've just got to get through this right now. Come on, referee. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle right now. No. No, wait. No, 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 no. There we go. The full time whistle goes in this game. And we win the Champions League, guys. A 2-1 win. Messi scoring. Griezmann scoring. Milinkovic Savic scoring at the death of the game. If only we did that earlier on for Lazio, they might have been in with a chance. But again, Lazio, in my opinion, just wasn't up for this. They just need to grow a little bit more by a few more great players. And I think they definitely could challenge once again for the Champions League. But I think our squad is just far too strong to let a team like Lazio come in here and beat us that easy. But there we go, guys. We have retained... The Champions League title once again in this career mode. What a final. Again, I wish there was some more goals in this, to be fair. But three goals in a final isn't too bad, let's be honest. And here we go then, guys. Messi going to be lifting, off, lifting up sorry, another trophy in his final trophy in his career. And I'm glad he's retiring, if I'm going to be honest, because he's ended his career at the top. Do you know what I mean, guys? He's not ended it with a poor season with Barcelona. He's ended it at the top by winning every trophy imaginable this season. Club World Cup as well, guys. He's won this season. And here he is then, lifting up his final trophy of his career. And, yeah, what a way. What a way to end off this second season, guys. It, it couldn't have gone any better. But now moving on. You've got to be brutal and move on now to season three. Messi's not going to be here. Diego Carlos, Lengley, to Stegen, Neymar, Griezmann. They aren't going to be here next season. And so can this team... St uh, you know, step up and produce something like this in the next season. It it's going to be a massive ask. It really is. And I'm going to need your guys' help down below in the comments on signings that we can make for this team. You know, again, we're going to have to, you know, think of some criteria, not just sign uh, Mbappe and Haaland. We're going to have to think of some sort of criteria. Uh, maybe maybe sign Mbappe and Haaland if we have the money, but I don't know if we will. But definitely, this Barcelona youth have got to learn from Messi right now and these older players. 
and how to win crucial games like this. So just quickly then guys, after that game, I'm just taking a look here now. We're going to transfer offer in for Jordi Alba from Hertha Berlin. And this is no disrespect to Jordi Alba, by the way, but I'm just surprised at how much money he is still worth at the age of 33. 82 rated left back and he's still bringing in around about 30 million euros. But there we have it then, guys. We are winners of the Champions League once again in this career mode. You can see there Messi with the trophy, of course, his final trophy. You can see player of the tournament is actually going to go to Ben Yedder. Um, interesting to see, is he the top scorer of the Champions League this season? We'll take a look at that next. So let's take a look then through the competitions and see who won every competition this season. I think you guys will begin to notice a pattern here. So La Liga, of course, we are the winners. Real Madrid in second, Atletico Madrid in third, and Athletic Bilbao actually making it into fourth place, which is quite a surprise for me, if I'm honest. I thought Real Sociedad was there at one point. Real Sociedad, I'm pretty sure, was second and first with us at one point in this season so again surprised to see them drop all the way down to seventh but the supercopa is going to be us we beat atletico madrid 1-0 in the final of that game copa del rey we beat atletico madrid once again guys a 2-0 win in the final of that club world cup we played earlier on in the season we got a 3-1 win in the final of that game and in the super cup we did beat spurs 1-0 at the start of this season guys of course i do remember that game quite a lot actually and uh, champions league obviously you guys know we beat lazio 2-1 and the Europa League, this is going to be interesting, actually falls to Villarreal. Okay, they beat Porto 4-2 uh, in the final semi-finals. Okay, no English clubs in the semi-finals. Quarter-finals, any English clubs? Wow, no. Okay, where was the last English club in the Europa League? Um, wow, okay, no English club made out the round of 32. Or even the group. What? Okay, I'm, I'm beginning to be a little bit surprised. Arsenal. Well, Man United both get knocked out of the round of 32. That is quite surprising, guys. Quite, quite surprising. So let's go ahead then and take a look at the other leagues as well whilst we're here. Let's start off with the Premier League, of course. And the winners of that is Manchester United, guys. Wow, okay. What a turn of events. At one point in the season, Spurs were first when we faced them in the Champions League. Then it was... Uh, I think it was still Spurs, but Man City and Man United were, cl uh, were close behind them. And it's finished off that Man United do win the Premier League on 95 points. Spurs drop all the way down into fourth place, which is very surprising. Very, very surprising. League One is going to fall to PSG. Of course it is, guys. 102 points they win it on. Bundesliga is going to fall to Bayern on 91 points. That is unbelievable. And the fact that Dortmund are on 77 Quite a bit behind them there. The Serie A is going to go to Juventus on 89 points. Inter Milan only three points behind them. Lazio finishing in third place. And obviously La Liga, we know how that finishes. Uh, but yeah, there we go. But let's go ahead then and take a look at the top scorers and top assists for each competition. Well, let's say each competition. Let's just focus on La Liga and of course the Champions League. So top scorer in La Liga is going to fall to Luis Suarez. 26 goals in 37 matches, guys. Unbelievable. Uh, Martinez, we've got there in 7th place with 16 goals in 27 games. Top assister does go to Cucurella, actually, on 13 assists in 36 matches. And he is actually a player I've got my eye on for next season, possibly signing into our team. Obviously, used to be a Barcelona player. Uh, we've got Messi there with 10 assists in 30 matches. Griezmann, 9 in 25. Let's go ahead and check out now the Champions League. Because, of course, Ben Yedder did actually get player of the tournament. So... Yeah, okay, he's the top assister, and he's not the top scorer, though, so that's interesting. Balotti uh, for Borussia Dortmund, obviously Dortmund getting knocked out in the semi-finals to Lazio. He got 11 goals in 12 matches, and we got Messi there finishing with 8 goals in 9 matches. Um, assist, again, Ben Yedder, as we just seen, but we've got Griezmann there with 4 assists in 10 matches. So let's just go ahead then and take a look at our manager record for this second season with Barcelona. So you can see there's some of the objectives still haven't updated as of yet. But take a look at this, guys. Winner, 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 winner for each competition, guys. Manager of the Month awards, none. Manager of the Year award, no. Um, whether that's been decided yet or not, I don't know. But the fact we won none Manager of the Month awards is surprising, considering we've won every trophy possible for us. Unbelievable. Neymar was our record transfer fee of 150 million. And of course, guys, how could I forget? We sold Dembele to Real Madrid for 140 million euros. We finished first in La Liga and our record for the season. Well, here we go then, guys. The last bit for today's episode. And it's quite sad, really, when you think about it. You know, these players that have helped us for, what, 23 episodes now are going to leave us next episode to Stegen. Again, what a player he has been. 94 rated at age 30, guys. Unbelievable servant for us. Obviously, Pena is going to be our starting goalkeeper next season. 
71 rated now. Firpo, 86 rated, guys. He needs a new contract. He will sort that out at the start of season three. Jordi Alba again. Plenty of offers coming in for him. Diego Carlos is going to be leaving us as well. Langley will be leaving us. Araujo, he's going to be one of our main centre-backs next season, which I am excited about. Because you guys have told me since episode one how good this guy is in real life. And I can't wait to get using him in the next season properly. Again, PK going to be leaving us. Eric Garcia is going to have a main role next season for us as well. Sergio uh, Dest, 84 rated. Tavares will get more playtime next season. Sergio uh, Busquets is joining Inter Milan when the uh, transfer window opens up. Alenia, obviously, again, haven't really used him so far in his career mode. But he should get more game time next season. And now this guy, I haven't used him as of yet, but he does look actually quite decent. Um, how do you pronounce that? Reese? Right, Reeses? Um, something along them lines. 73 overall. I'm going to use him next season, along with Fernandez and Collado. Uh, Frankie Dion going to be one of our main players next season, along with Trincao. Ricky Pirage, grown by 6 this season, guys. 88 rated. Thiago Almeida, again. We brought him in in the January transfer window. Can't wait to get using him in this next season. Pedri again. I really wish Pedri would have grown by more overalls. But hopefully next season with more playtime and again more goals and assists. He will grow once again. And then moving down again. Conrad will get more game time along with Arby next season. And Fati again will definitely be in the first team next season. Neymar will be leaving us again. I wish I signed Neymar sooner. But it is what it is guys. There's nothing I could do about that. Trincao. Um, grown by number five this season. Number five, and his squad role is still prospect. It's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. 92 rated right now. Him and Frank De Jong going to be our best players next season. Uh, Messi, of course, what more can I say, guys? Four goals in the semi final over two legs against Liverpool. And still 93 rated, scoring in that final against Lazio. And just think, guys, if he didn't score that goal. And that game would have ended 1-1, could have gone to extra time and anything could have happened in that game. So Messi's goal was crucial in that final and again he is retiring at the end of the season. Griezmann, um, I feel like I owe a lot of respect to Griezmann because he won the Ballon d'Or and I did not expect him to. And there's so many times where I said, you know what guys, we might sell him, we might not. And as you guys can see from the stats alone, 24 goals, 20 assists this season. Absolutely unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable from him. Martinez again. Been an amazing player for us since he joined. 20 goals, 11 assists this season. Can't complain with that. And Messias, I'm hoping he will play a bigger role next season when he does return. Uh, but let's go ahead then. Just check out the top scorer, which is again Griezmann. As you guys know, Messi only behind him by one goal. Um, not a bad, not a bad season for him. And Trincao on 21 goals as well, guys. Martinez on 20. Neymar on 17. So a lot of goals this season. Plenty of goals and assists. As you guys know, falls to Griezmann, Messi on 13, and Martinez on 11. Well then, guys, so the episode isn't over as of yet. As you can see right now, I'm just swimming through the last couple of days in June. And we do have an email here. Release clause met. Real Madrid have agreed to pay $180 million for the release clause of Lotaro Martinez. So, again, we are looking to move on Martinez because he's not going to be part of our plans in Season 3. For a post Messi era and it looks like he's going to be joining Real Madrid. So I think then guys we are going to leave it there then guys. What a way to end off season 2. Winning the Champions League of course. We're going to say goodbye obviously to the players that are no longer going to be here next season. And Martinez is going to be joining Real Madrid. So not only have we sold Dembele to Real Madrid. We've also now sold Martinez to Real Madrid. They're going to have such a strong squad next season. And just looking at our team for next season. As you can see this is how it's looking. Obviously Martinez will not be here. Um, but, um, you know, the centre-back situation might be a little bit of a problem. Obviously, Pena in goal as well. We might struggle a little bit next time we face Real Madrid. But I'm excited to start Season 3 and hope you guys are excited for it. So, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like down below on the video. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.